what if I told you the future of combat sports isn't about humans in the ring at all, but robots throwing punches in jaw-dropping high-tech battles? Picture this, humanoid robots becoming the ultimate bodyguards. No fear, no fatigue, just non-stop protection for VIPs and world leaders. What would that even look like for security? Now, what if robot fighting becomes the next global sensation, a sport that pulls in millions of viewers? Well, it's happening. Unitry is already building the future with their G1 boxing bot. And trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Unitry dropped a new video that's got the robotics world buzzing. Its G1 humanoid robots are now boxing. Yes, literally throwing punches. The footage shows two G1s going head to head in what looks like a choreographed sparring match. But the big news isn't just the boxing, it's the fact that Unitry says this is only the beginning. They're teasing live-streamed robot combat as an upcoming feature, which means we could soon be watching humanoid robots battle it out in real time, sort of like a futuristic UFC, but with machines. What's even more impressive is how far these robots have come in terms of dexterity and coordination. Alongside the boxing reveal, Unitry introduced a new robotic hand called the Dex 5. It's much more refined than previous models and adds a whole new level of fine motor control to the G1, which is already surprisingly nimble. In fact, one demo shows the G1 casually solving a Rubik's Cube, a simple but effective way to highlight the hand's precision and range of motion. But Unitry isn't just aiming for entertainment. The G1 has also demonstrated its usefulness in the medical field, assisting with various procedures. That's a pretty big leap. Showing this robot isn't just built for show, it can actually work alongside humans in sensitive environments. Another interesting feature is the teleoperation system. Using an HTC Vive tracker, foot pedals, and a basic webcam, operators can remotely control the G1. This setup gives the robot impressive responsiveness and real-time motion capture, opening up all kinds of possibilities, from remote surgery to industrial maintenance or even high-stakes rescue missions. All of this suggests we're entering a new robotic era, one where humanoid machines aren't just lab-bound experiments but public-facing, multi-purpose platforms. Whether it's through combat sports, healthcare, or remote-controlled tasks, Unitree's G1 is pushing the boundaries of what we thought humanoid robots could do. Of course, it's worth keeping a few disclaimers in mind. These robots still rely on controlled environments for most tasks. And while the tech is evolving rapidly, we're not quite at sci-fi level autonomy yet. Unitree is planning something big because they've just added a more capable hand to the G1 robot called Dex 5. Before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. We don't yet know if this new hand is going to make G1 a better fighter, but it will give it a plethora of new abilities. The new hand for Unitree's G1 humanoid robot, called the Dex 5, is a game changer when it comes to dexterity and fine motor control. Designed to significantly improve the G1's ability to manipulate objects with greater precision, the Dex 5 hand is a major upgrade from its predecessors. Unlike earlier versions that focused on basic movements, the Dex 5 is engineered for more intricate tasks, showcasing advanced levels of agility and fine manipulation. The hand features multiple degrees of freedom, which means it can rotate, bend, and grip with an impressive level of versatility. This is critical for tasks like holding small objects or performing delicate operations, which require a level of control that's closer to what humans can do with their hands. It's also got a higher level of adaptability meaning the G1 can now perform a variety of functions that require precise touch, like solving a Rubik's Cube, assembling small parts, or even handling medical tools in certain settings. What's especially exciting about the DEX 5 is its role in expanding the G1's functionality. It doesn't just improve the robot's ability to interact with objects, it opens up new potential for complex tasks that were previously out of reach for robots. With this hand, the G1 can more effectively assist in industries like healthcare, manufacturing, and even logistics where precision handling is key. Overall, the DEX 5 is a major step forward 
in making the G1 more capable of performing a range of tasks that demand dexterity, setting the stage for future applications in robotics that require a human-like touch. It's an exciting development that shows how rapidly humanoid robots are evolving in terms of both their technical abilities and their real-world usefulness. Whatever these hands are intended to do, Unitree has already announced that they will be releasing live streams from their boxing bots in about a month. Unitree Robotics has just dropped a bombshell in the world of robotics with the announcement that it will live stream what it's calling the world's first humanoid robot boxing match. The news, shared on April 10th, 2025, via a post on X, formerly Twitter, got people talking, with Unitree inviting everyone to step into a new era of sci-fi and join in the fun. The live stream is set to take place in about a month, promising a thrilling experience for anyone who's been following the rapid advancements in humanoid robotics. The promotional video, titled Unitree Iron Fist King Awakening, already has people on the edge of their seats. The footage shows a G1 robot sparring with a human before moving on to battle against another robot in a dynamic, martial arts-inspired showdown. The robots move with impressive precision, throwing punches, blocking and performing swift maneuvers, making it clear that this isn't just a simple exhibition. It's going to be an action-packed event. There's a lot of anticipation surrounding how the robots will handle the real-time combat scenario, and the teaser suggests that Unitree is planning something far beyond what we've seen in previous robot demos. While the exact details about the event are still under wraps, such as the exact date, the full roster of robots and how the combat will unfold, the G1 humanoid is definitely going to be front and center. At one point, three two meters tall and weighing 35 kilograms, the G1 is built for agility with advanced computing systems and smooth motion control that enable it to perform intricate movements with ease. This makes the G1 a perfect candidate for a boxing match as it can react swiftly and accurately, responding to punches and countering in real time. The fact that the G1 can perform physical feats like these points to just how far humanoid robotics have come in terms of dexterity and control. What's really exciting is that this announcement comes after a series of viral videos showing off the G1's abilities. Just recently, Unitree shared clips of the G1 pulling off a kip-up, you know, that backflip move where you go from lying down to standing up in one smooth motion, and a side flip, both of which are tough challenges for humanoid robots. These videos not only showcase the G1's balance and agility, but also help generate a buzz about the potential of these robots to perform complex actions that go far beyond basic tasks. But what if they're actually really good at fighting? That could radically change how robots are used in combat and security. If robots like Unitree's G1 become advanced enough to fight humans effectively, it could have a big impact on areas like presidential security, bodyguards, and even the future of human-robot fighting. Imagine a world where robots are not just tools, but active participants in protecting people, and possibly even engaging in combat sports. For presidential security, the introduction of humanoid robots capable of real-time combat would change the game. These robots could act as highly specialized bodyguards, offering 24-7 protection with no need for rest or breaks. Robots wouldn't be susceptible to fear, fatigue, or injury, which would make them reliable in dangerous situations. Whether it's protecting a VIP during a riot, a bomb threat, or a high-stakes event, robots would be able to respond quickly and precisely. They could also be equipped with surveillance and counterintelligence systems, keeping an eye on crowds or gathering intel on potential threats without ever tiring or becoming distracted. The psychological impact of having a robot as a bodyguard could deter potential attackers, knowing that these machines would respond with calculated high-level force. Beyond security, there's the potential for human-robot fighting to become a form of entertainment. Picture a world where humans battle robots in combat sports similar to MMA or boxing today. If robots like the G1 become agile and strong enough, we could see human-robot tournaments become a major digital sport streamed to a global audience. There's a real possibility that this could lead to new forms of competitive entertainment where robots face off in thrilling matches.
Of course, this would raise ethical questions, especially regarding the safety of human participants. Robots would likely have strength and endurance advantages, so the risks for human competitors would be much higher than in traditional combat sports. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.